This week, the Valdosta State Blazers faced the Christian Brothers University Bucks in the complex. The Blazers come into the game tied for first in the Gulf South Conference standings. Only two home games remain for the Blazers in the regular season after this weekend. The team will look to improve on their strong home record in this matchup. The Christian Brothers University Bucks enter the contest with the upper hand. The Bucks defeated the Blazers with a final score of 85 to 77 in a tight contest back in December. Despite this loss, the Blazers have history on their side. Last year, the Blazers overpowered the Bucks in the complex en route to a 90 to 59 victory. This game has postseason implications for both teams. The Blazers are fighting for the number one seed going into the conference tournament, while the Bucks have yet to clinch a tournament berth. In today's matchup, the Bucks will look to freshman guard Joe Larravee, who scored 27 points in the first matchup against the Blazers. Adam Dyball will also be an important player to watch for in this matchup. He enters the game as the scoring leader for the Bucks with 17 points per game. The Blazers will need strong performances from their two dynamic guards to secure a win this weekend. Senior Jeremiah Hill has led the Blazers in scoring throughout this season with an average of 19 points per game. Sophomore Bo Justice will be another player to watch for in this matchup. Justice enters this game shooting 40% from beyond the arc. Stay tuned for an exciting Gulf South Conference matchup right here on VSU TV after this short PSA break. I love learning. I believe in service. I am full of passion. I embody sportsmanship. I trust in my resourcefulness. I like balance. That's why I chose. I chose. I chose. I chose. I chose. I chose Division Two. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to VSU TV coverage of Blazer Basketball. I'm Will DiLorenzo alongside my co-host Kawan Cook as we welcome you to the complex here at Valdosta State University. Now, Kawan, we have an exciting matchup on hand today. Big game, huge playoff implications, late season game. What are some of your keys for success for both teams, starting with VSU? Well, the Blazers have to find a way to get Jeremiah Hill and Bo Justice going. Jeremiah Hill is averaging about 19 points per game, and Bo Justice is averaging 13 points per game. If you get these two guards going, the whole offense will flow with ease. Now, on the other side, Christian Brothers comes in fourth in the Gulf South Conference, 4-1 and one in their last five, 17-6 overall. What are some of the keys for them? Well, they have to find a way to get Adam Dyball involved in the offense. He's averaging about 17 points per game, and he also leads the Gulf South Conference with 4.9 assists per game. And that's pretty crazy knowing that he's a 6.9 forward, man. Now, these are two teams that are very familiar with each other, having played already once this season. That game was a gem. It came down to the wire. We're not expecting anything different, and we're looking forward to you guys joining us out there watching VSU TV. It's Blazers Bucks next. Valdosta, Georgia. It's all you need. With innovative minds that feed a thriving business environment, all with access to international contacts and a university influence with championship teams. It's premier healthcare and a community that's metropolitan yet inviting. Valdosta, Georgia, all you need. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the complex here at Valdosta State University. I'm Will DiLorenzo alongside my co-host, Kawan Cook, as we want to welcome you to Blazer Basketball. Today, the Blazers will be taking on the Christian Brother University Bucks, and we're just about set for tip-off. And we already have an interesting storyline for you, the home audience, as we get set. That tip-off is won by the Blazers. That's number three, Josh Lemons coming up the court. But as we kind of tease there in the open, it doesn't look like the Christian Brothers University Bucks has their entire team here today, Kwan. Yeah, and I don't know if they didn't travel, if anybody's hurt. I've been looking at the injury, trying to find an injury report or something, but I have found nothing. If I find anything, Will, I will let you know throughout the game, okay? Awesome. That first shot by Lemons wasn't able to go for Valdosta as they bring it up the court. It's Christian Brothers' ball at the top of the key as they try to feed it inside. They get it back up top. That's 22, Mitch Mays, as he gets it to number 45, Jack Hummel. 
That was number five, Jeff Larkin, unable to connect as the Blazers bring it up the floor with Jeremiah Hill. The kick to Justice, and he knocks it down for our first points of the game. Bo Justice, wide open. And yes, this is what type of offense they've looking looking for for the Blazers to happen tonight. You got to drive towards the hole to take away that defender. Wide open, Bo Justice on the three-point line, and he's going to make it happen when it's time. How's, how important is it to get these these guards started early for VSU, Bo Justice and oh, Jeremiah Hill. Oh, it's very important. Just like I said earlier, if you get these two going, the rest of this offense will flow to perfection. I've seen it. That's why they're number one in the Go South Conference. As we get our inbound here from Mays, he gets it into number 45, Hummel, at the top of the key. Now, on the other side of the court, four Christian brothers, you come in, you don't have your entire squad. What's the biggest thing that you, that you think their coach is telling them? Um, really, I think it's probably depending on Jeff Larkin, uh, the senior guard. Mm -hmm. And he's he's averaging about 16.7 points per game. So I, I think they're looking to involve him because he's the highest point scorer. But, of course, they want to move the ball around and make it easier for the whole team. As we see, he'll try to take it coast to coast. Can't get it to fall. Rebound Christian Brothers. That's number 34, Alex Trentman, able to corral that rebound. Christian Brothers still looking for their first points of the contest as we see Mays at the top. Tries to get it inside Hummel, backing down, able to put it up, can't get it to fall. Rebound out of bounds, Valdosta State ball. This is a good start so far for Valdosta State. I'm pretty sure Coach Mike Helfer is not mad at all. This is how they start. Just got to relax and find a way to get this offense moving a little bit faster, but still, it's okay. That's Josh Lemons bringing it up the floor, and he gives it quickly to Jeremiah Hill as Justice sets up for another three and knocks it down again. Bo Justice from off downtown the, once again. Off the pretty ball screen there, Will. It was perfectly set up. I'm pretty sure Mike Helfer called that play, but perfect call by Mike Helfer there. And another sloppy possession there by Christian Brothers gives the ball back to Valdosta State as we see a timeout early by Christian Brothers. What have you seen so far early? Well, I've seen this defense disappear. Like, I, you know, we came into this matchup thinking that the Christian Brothers defense would be amazing. They're ranked number three, but they haven't shown up at all. It's been a frightening start for sure for Christian Brothers. VSU TV is proud to present Saturday Fright Special every Saturday at 9 p.m. and midnight. Join host Scarewolf as he leads you through classic monster movies and some classic duds as well. Get your friends together and grab some popcorn before the popcorn grabs you. Saturday Fright Special only on VSU TV. And well, I know for sure they Christian Brothers probably look for, you know, um, Mike Adam D Dyball to play today. But he's not in the lineup, and that's one of their key players. As we see Hill at the top, that feeds inside to Lemons to Muhammad. Back out to Lemons to Justice one more time. Deep three again. Can't get that one to fall. As we see the Christian brother Bucks able to corral that rebound. That's Lorkin at the top of the key with the ball. There seems to be some shouting going on as they try to get it down low to number 20, Cody Garbinson. As we see rebound, Sadiq Muhammad. Even though they couldn't get a basket right there, I still think that was great offense. Hill trying to drive, kick it back out to Lemons at the top, and he's able to drive to the basket. Can't get it to fall. Rebound. That's number 24, Justin Simon, able to put it back up for Valdosta State. Great rebound there by Justin Simon. That's critical right there. You've got to grab boards. And great 8-0 start right now for Valdosta State. As Christian Brothers tries to look for some answers, try to get their first points of the game. And that's number 22, Mitch Mays, the 6'7 freshman from Cincinnati, able to get Christian Brothers on the board. And that was great ball movement right there by the Christian Brothers. A pick and roll sets up the score. Bo Justice from just about that free throw line, and he's fouled on the play. That was actually a great shot right there off the pick and roll. And it looks like we'll get our first free throws of the game and maybe some more points for Bo Justice early. And Bo Justice has had a great season so far. Uh, he's averaging about 13 points a game. And, but he's been that, that next spark they've needed every, in every game. Um, last game, they actually was down almost, almost 13 points. 
in, on Thursday night. And, boy, I tell you, Bo Justice and Jeremiah Hill got his whole team going. Bo Justice nearly automatic from the line, as you see him miss that one. Uh, he's shooting 83%, rebound Valdosta State, and they look to set up their offense again. The feed is inside to Muhammad as he tries to get to the basket. Kick back out Lemons to Hill. 4-3. Can't get it to go. Rebound kicked out. Valdosta State. Hill drops it back in. Muhammad able to get it to fall. And goodness gracious, this Valdosta State offense is rolling this morning. Yes, this they are. Yeah, excuse me, this early in the game. <laughs> yes, they are. It's because of that ball movement, Will. And what you have to do is keep that ball flowing because if it keeps flowing, eventually an open shooter will be there. I guess I was going for early in the game, and I just <laughs> went all the way to the morning there. <laughs> all right, we see that's number 20. As we see Larkin back up at the top. Larkin pulls up for the deep three. Can't get it to go. Rebound Bo Justice in Valdosta State. They're going quick. And right there, too much hero ball. I see could have set a little pick and roll or maybe an off-screen pick to open up some, a shooter or something, but all that standing, it's not going to work against this Battle State defense. Battle State seems very active across the court today. They got people moving all over the place. As we see Lemons line up, in and out, rebound, Muhammad, rebound Simon, rebound Muhammad, back up. Don't count the basket. There's a travel on that play. Oh man, that was a, that was a close call there. Coach Helfer is not impressed by that as we see a timeout. What have you seen early today? Well, this has almost been like a movie, man. So, do you have a passion for filmmaking and want to show off your talents? The South Georgia Film Festival could be your time to shine. Valdosta State's Communication Arts Department and Mass Media Program are sponsoring the event and will announce prompts on Friday February the 17th at 1 p.m. The competition welcomes filmmakers of all ages and requires no fee to enter. And I tell you what, for Valdosta State, it's, it's been a start to a very happy movie, maybe romantic comedy, but for Christian Brothers, it's, it's looking pretty scary out there. Yeah, I think it's looking pretty scary because, once again, they're missing some of their key players. But, of course, I'm pretty sure this team in, in this huddle right now is letting each other know that we don't need these players because we are a full team and we lead the league in assists. So we have to find a way to move the ball around and do what we do best. You mentioned they, they lead the league in assists, but their number one assister is number 33, Adam Dybal. We covered it early in our intro. If you're, if you're Coach ne Neobar, what do, you, what do you think, what do you tell your guys? Well, just continue to find a way to set off ball screens and open up shooters for big shots. That's all you can really do because how this Valdosta State defense is set up, they don't allow much. So for you to move around, you kind of help yourself out. But if you just stand stagnant, you put yourself in a very bad position. As we see Christian Brothers bring it in. They bring it up the floor. That's number 22, Mitch Mays with the ball. Kick back out, back to Mays. Up top to Larkin. And I like there how Mike Helfer starts off in a man press, like a full court press defense. It's a pretty, pretty smart idea. What are some of the advantages to running a man defense over zone? Well, there are many, many. It, it really helps to me when you're switching because if you switch off the pick and roll, you can kind of guide your man or have the next man call it out if you're talking correctly on the court. As we see Christian Brothers try to get it in, they get it into Larkin. Again, he's looking for a man to pass to. That's number 45, Hummel, at the top. As Hummel tries to drive, he's dribbling. Give it to Larkin. He pulls up from beyond the arc. Again, can't get it to fall. Rebound, Mays. As he goes back up, can get it to fall. And I believe he is fouled on that play. That sends him to the line for Christian Brothers' first free throws of the game. Yes, and that was a foul there by number zero, Damian Young. He has to find a way to keep his feet right there. No reason to jump, just keep his hands up. Ref wouldn't have called, made the call if he just kept his hands up right there. But to leave, see him leave his feet, it's a bad decision, but great rebound there by Christian Brothers to keep theirself in it and get another offensive possession. Larkin to Hummel. Back underneath, and the ball is poked away by Valdosta State, and the drive and the lay-in 
That's number one, Marquis Simuels. Marquis Simuels with the great spark off the bench so far. He's doing a great job. And we we saw number zero for Valdosta State, Damian Young, also check in on that play. Young, as the viewers can see, has a little bit of tape on his right wrist. He heard it on Thursday as he went up in the air and was fouled hard in Valdosta State's win, overtime win. Excuse me. As we can see, Christian Brothers drive, rebound Valdosta State. Bo Justice brings it up the floor. That Simuels back to Justice. Up at the top, that's number 23, Jimmy Codet. Can't get it to fall. And that was a great ball moving, even though Jimmy Codet's shot couldn't fall there. I'm pretty sure Mike Huff is not mad at all with that, with that offensive possession, but great defense right there by Jimmy Kodak. We get some more substitutions in. Now, we see these substitutions relatively early for Christian Brothers. How hard is it going to be to keep their legs fresh, especially down a couple players on this roster? Well, this is where your off-season training comes in the handy. Uh, wait, your players got to have to find a way to catch that next wind. Give inside to Larkin as he drives. He can't get it to fall. Hit out. Last touch by number 11, Tim Dalbon for Valdosta State. It's Christian Brothers ball once again. Yeah, I'm shocked. I didn't see a foul right there. It looked like a little contact, but I'm not the ref. I'm not the man in strikes. I'm just the man talking. As we see Coach Helfer down at the baseline, looks like on a knee trying to get this play call into his team. Yeah, I see, it still seems as in they're still in this man defense. As we see, they're able to get it in. Number 14, Tyler Essett. There's a great defense up at the top right here from Jeremiah Hill. As we see the drive into Larkin, fumbled the pass. That's Dalbon able to pick up the ball as he brings it up the field. In Young driving, going up for the layup, unable to connect. Great and he's way to, fouled. Great way to draw the foul right there by Damian Young. Coach uh, Nianbar over there, I think he didn't agree with that call. And I think he actually saw a travel when Dale Bond was running and giving it off to Damian Young. As we see Young head to the line for his first free throws of the game. Can't get that one to fall. And that's his first real test on that wrist. And Damian Young has been shooting about a 8-1-3 in free throw percentage this year. About 81% from the line. As we see him go again. And that doesn't count because number 23, Jimmy Cadet, fell forward into the lane on that last one. Bad decision there by Kodak. Just has to find a way to relax. And the ball will come down. It would have been a counter basket, but got to think smart here. Christian Brothers brings it up the floor, trying to look for some points as they get it inside, and Larkin still unable to connect, but rebound by number 34, Trentman. Trentman again back out to Mays, goes up hard, and he's fouled. That was a smart foul there just to slow everything down. A great time out, great, I'm sorry, great time out there by Mike Helfer. He understood what his team was doing and just needs to slow down and figure this out defensively wise. Well, while we have some time, do you have an interest in the paranormal? Do you want to show that it's offbeat and not stuffy? Then VSU TV has the program for you. 30 odd minutes, airing Saturday nights at 11 following Saturday Fright Special. If the truth is out there, 30 odd minutes will find it, but only by sheer accident. So what is no accident is this 13-4 lead for Valosta State. They have been outplaying Christian Brothers from the jump today. Yes, they have. And it's because they're running the floor and letting this, all, letting this ball move around a lot. And this offense is doing a great job at giving everybody the ball, every possession. And that's usually what leads to baskets. When you can let everyone touch the ball in the offense possession, it makes it easier for everyone, to be honest. With 12-16 to go, Christian Brothers only has four points on the on the scoreboard. What have you seen maybe a weakness in Valdosta State that Christian Brothers may be able to exploit? Oh, that's a tough one. But it will probably be the movement on defense for Valdosta State. They have to find a way to probably find a way to communicate really more than movement. Communication is key. Reason those 
those baskets, these four points on the board because there was no communication on the court. You could tell. You didn't hear a lot of yelling, cut, cut, or it's coming, nothing. It was just an easy layup to the basket. And how much of that do you think is the fact that these players, I know I'm harping on it here in this in this first half, but how much do you think it's these these players that, you know, most of the time they're not ready for this situation. These aren't guys, these aren't all the starters for Christian Brothers. Yeah, I, I would say it's kind of that, but see, I think how Coach has it set up at Christian Brothers, it's the next man up situation. So whoever's on the court, you're the next man up. You get the job done. This is why I gave you a scholarship. This is why you're playing here. And so we see Jeremiah Hill able to bring it up the floor inside to Young. That's a foul. Kickball. About also stay ball. As we see another substitution for Christian Brothers. Inbound play into Hill, able to corral it. He pulls up from the free throw line, able to get it to fall for what I believe is his first points of the game. It's 15 to four, Valdosta State. And that was a, actually a great inbound pass there and great catch by Jeremiah Hill. He stretched out for it and it was amazing. Looked like a wide receiver there, but great shot also. That throw was inside to number 20, Garbuzki. Unable to corral it. And another turnover for Christian Brothers. Dalbon brings up the offense. The kick is to Young. Back out to Hill. Hill driving in. Back to Young. Young to Kodet. Back to Dalbon. Back to Kodet. And it's good. A wonderful ball movement and wonderful execution there by Valdosta State. And Jimmy Cody there with a great shot with pressure and a hand in his face. As we see a, a foul committed by Valdosta State. Bit of a sloppy game for both teams. We've seen, we've seen a, couple, a couple hard fouls and a couple unnecessary fouls as well. Yeah, they got to find a way just to come. I think it's just anything of calming down. It's the beginning of the game still technically for some of these players. They haven't got all the jitters out. After the 10 minute mark though, you gotta find a way to calm it down and get, the, get this thing going for him. So we see Larkin back up top. It's number 44, uh, excuse me, number 14, Tyler Estep. Larkin for three, can't get it to fall. Rebound Christian Brothers. The drive in, back out to Larkin. Bad pass, able to be corralled. And Larkin's gonna slow it down a little bit. The give inside, bad pass. Back to Larkin, Larkin Estep, and it's off of that Austin State player. And I don't, I'm really starting to think this, this team is not playing comfortable due to the fact they're missing these key players. It's actually starting to play a role because even though it is the next man up, like I think these are situations where they would probably have the ball in Die Ball's hand or he would make a play, but he's nowhere, to, he's not here, so they have to find a way. That's Oswald up top. First time we've called his name today as Larkin drives in. And he's fouled before he's able to get the shot off. No. That's a good job there by Mike Helfer of getting Bo Justice back in the game. He's actually a hot man right now, shooting two for three. You got to get him in the game. With 10:31, your score once again is about Austin State 18, Christian Brothers four. Pretty low scoring affair so far for both teams, especially about Austin State, even though they're up by quite a few. As we see a bucket there from Christian Brothers, able to get it to six. Lemon brings it up, but for about Austin State, this is a this is a very unusual low scoring half. Yes, it is. But I'm pretty sure Coach Mike Helfer is not sweating it because he knows eventually his offense will get going. And right there, Bo Justice once again, he's hot tonight. Bo Justice three for four from beyond the arc tonight. And with 9.52, your score is Blazers 21, box six. So we see a foul away from the ball against number three, Lemons. That'll with the inbound at the bottom of the key. Interesting story. Josh Lemons actually 
I think we think he broke his nose last on Thursday's game. Uh, he actually had to come out of the game to get it adjusted after it looked like a, a hard foul. We get back in. That's number 14, Tyler Estep, able to knock it down, 21-8. Kick to Justice. Looked like he wanted to shoot that one back up to Hill. Can't get it to fall. Rebound, Christian Brothers. As Larkin slows it down and brings it up the court. Yeah, this was a great shot there by Jeremiah Hill. Just got to make it count. Inside to Oswald. Across court. That's Larkin. Back up top, Oswald. Number 34, Zach Trentman. Back inside. And that's Garbuzki. Able to get it to fall. And that was a great job by them feeding it into the paint. Saw the matchup with Jeremiah Hill on the fort. Hey, you got you to gotta exploit that. And they did a great job by doing that. Justice has the ball up top. As we see Hill looking back out. Muhammad can't get it to go. And Christian Brothers will slow it down. Yeah, that was a great take there by Muhammad. Just got to make it work. That also say just unable to knock down some shots there. As we see the strip by Justice. And he's going one-on-one -on -one as he goes in. He's fouled. And he'll be shooting too. Yeah, it's a great take there by Bo Justice. Actually great, amazing steal there too. Way to keep his hands active and go down court and draw a foul. And what we've seen so far from Bo Justice is just a complete basketball player, wouldn't you say? Yeah, definitely, definitely. And it's, it's even more cool to say that his brother actually played here a year ago. Actually for a couple of seasons and was a thousand point scorer. And he's looking like a spinning image of his brother, but to me, just a better all-around player, just from a defense and offensive standpoint. Talking about Blake Justice, who graduated last year from Valdosta State. He's one of Valdosta State's all-time leading scorers here at, VS here at VSU Basketball. As we see the inbound play to Larkin, tries to bring it up, and he's pressured, tries to get it away, able to, as he takes the ball back. Coach Helfer is really sticking with his man defense for Valdosta State, and Christian Brothers is just trying to find some momentum. As they get it back to their ball handle, Larkin, back up to Oswald for three, can't get it to go. Rebound Valdosta State as Bo Justice brings it up quickly. He pulls up, knocks it down again. Bo Justice is on fire. Heat check, he's ready. He's letting these Christian Brothers Buccaneers know that I'm here to play today, so you better strap up. It's going to be a long one. Goodness gracious. Ooh, great spin move there by number 44. That's Oswald. As we see it back up the floor to Hill, tries to get it inside to Simon, and that pass goes off a Christian Brothers player, but Lemon's able to corral it, able to avoid a mistake. Back out to Simon. Can't get it to fall. Rebound Christian Brothers. Bit of a sloppy possession there for Valdosta State. Yeah, they got to find a way. It's, I think it's just a lot of calming down. They have possessions where they're just too antsy. They have to relax. As we see Oswald with the turnaround and a nice move there on number 24, Simon. Jeremiah Hill looking to try to set something up. They put it up top to Justice. Over to Lemons. Justice got a man in his face as they get it down low to Sadiq Muhammad. And he's able to finish and the foul. Great take there by Sadiq Muhammad. Also, I got I have to give credit to Bo Justice there. He had a shot, but instead of taking a, a contested three-pointer, he kicked it down low to Sadiq Muhammad. Easy points. And now he's going to the line. He's He's been playing very well, as we see. And as you can see here, just great shot there by Bo Justice on the play. Another great shot by Bo Justice. I honestly think a lot of these replays are going to be Bo Justice because he's been hot today, just as you see there, another. And then Sadiq Muhammad comes up and with a great rebound on that play and a great finish. And Marquis Simeons with a great layup and finish. And Kodak hot from the three line tonight. A great shot there. And once again, the hot man, Bo Justice, showing off his nice three-pointer. So far, 
the Valdosta State offense seems to be clicking. They only have 28 points with 6.30 left in this first half, but I don't think there's too much that Coach Mike Helfer can complain about. Not at all, not at all. But I think for sure he's letting his team know they're not out of it. It's only a 14-point lead. They're far from out of it. All it takes is a, a small run, and as we all know, basketball is a game of runs. So what you could, the best thing you could do is limit those runs from happening. For sure. As we come back out, we had a, a little bit of an incident. Cheerleader accidentally threw some out on the court. I was trying to catch it. You could see my hand on <laughs> the booth. It was like a show my inner. What's the commercial? You got to be quicker than that. <laughs> As we see Sadiq Mohammed head to the line. Great free throw shot there made by Sadiq Muhammad. Of the Blazers' 28 points, Bo Justice has 15 of them. As we see a quick take by Christian Brothers, they get it up the floor. Unable to get it to fall, but that'll, that'll send Jack Hummel to the line. But you got to think, they wanted a little bit more than that, maybe an and one. They had, they had numbers there. Yeah, they did. And that was a great take by Jack but also great defense by Carlos Beverly. Even though that was a foul call, his hands were straight up the whole time, and that's exactly what you want. But he has to find a way to get himself out of that circle down there in the paint because they're going to call a foul if he's standing in there. As we see, Hummel can't get the first one to fall. We'll check on his second one as the VSU faithful are giving it to him. Ball out of bounds, Valdosta State. We see a substitution that brings Mitch Mays back in the game. Mays is leading, tied for the lead in points with four for Christian Brothers. Another foul away from the ball. And these refs today, been a lot of foul calls. They're not really letting them play as much as you usually see. But that's also good because it's, it's protecting the safety of the players. If you're, if you're a coach then and you see that these refs are calling the game pretty tight, is there, is there anything specifically that you would tell your players? Of course. Um, watch your hands. Uh, try, your, try your best not to just swing at the ball. You have to be smart when, when you're on defense. As we see Marquis Simuels drive to the basket and able to put it in for Valdosta State, your score is 31-14 VSU with 5.50 left in this first half. I mean, Valdosta State's putting on a little run right here. Larkin drive to the basket, can't get it to fall. As Lemons brings up the court. Get back out to Justice, trying to create some space. Lemons driving around again. Jeremiah Hill for three. And, and you can tell there Jeremiah Hill is getting frustrated with his three-point shot. Hill is normally, normally pretty, pretty stout from beyond the arc, but lately he's been having trouble. As you touched on it a little bit at, at the beginning of the game. Yes, he has, and this is where both Justice has played a great compliment, of course, because he's high, and you can see tonight he's doing his thing. Gives back up to Larkin with Bo Justice all in his face as they tried to do a pick. Almost got caught there. A shot clock violation right there, actually. Amazing defense by the Valdosta State Blazers right there. You can't ask for much better defense right there. So far this half has been exactly what Valdosta State has been looking for. They're able to convert their shots, and they've been pretty stout on the defensive end, holding Christian Brothers to only 14 points. But we still got a lot of basketball left to play. And this is a Christian Brothers team that was able to defeat Valdosta State early in the year, one of their four losses on the season for a team that's currently leading the Gulf South Conference. Yeah, and the, and the only reason they lost that game is because when they came back out after half, they didn't get it going as they had it going in the first half, and that showed. Ball was poked away. Last touch by Valdosta State. Christian, Christian Brothers will maintain possession. But you talk a little bit about that, that second half. Valdosta State was up big in that game as 
as much as they are right now. And just wasn't able to close it out. Couldn't make the big shots when it mattered. And Christian Brothers had <laughs> Adam Dieball that night. And of course, Dieball is a big difference because that's a 6 9 4 who usually is in the paint wreaking havoc. But him not here today, it shows. Hard foul below. Looked like a charge. That was a great way to take the charge there by Josh Lemons. That also State brings the ball up the floor. Lemons looking to set up the offense. As they have some players running around. They get it to Justice. Inside to Samuels. Gets it to fall and the foul. That'll send it to the line once again. Great post move down low by Samuels there. Samuels is at the line for the second time tonight. Excuse me, for the first time tonight. And he's unable to convert that throw, that free throw. Christian Brothers brings it up the court once again. That's Mays at the top of the key. He gets it into Larkin. Larkin searching number 14, Tyler Essip. Back to Larkin. As we see the drive by Valdosta State and a fight for the ball. Great timeout call there. Or was it a jump ball? I believe it was a timeout call as we have a player down. I believe that's number 32, Carlos Beverly for Valdosta State. Yeah, and I don't know if he got hit in the eye or what's going on there. While we, have, while we have a minute, the Valdosta State Donor Center's doors are always open for donations that could save a life. Working with the American Red Cross, the VDC takes appointments five days a week for blood and platelet donations. Please contact the VDC at 229-241-1141 or online at redcrossblood.org slash valdosta-donor-center and see how you can make a difference in someone's life today. But before Carlos Beverly got hurt on that last play, he played great defense. He was down low already, and what he did was he faced out the center. So this made the center eventually get tired of trying to post up, and he brung his game out to the three-point line. And when you do that, it makes it a lot harder for them to get a rebound, and that makes it a lot better for the Valhalla State defense. Very tough, hard defense from Valhalla State so far in this game. I don't believe they've gone to the zone once. And I think that's because they're trying to limit them from even getting on a three-point line. And you know, most zones, it frees up corner threes. So with that, I think man-to-man -man would be best with this team. They're playing right, great, they're, rot they're rotating amazing, they're communicating. Just continue to do what you're doing. There's no reason to change it if it's not, if it's not broke. If it's not broke, don't fix it. Yes, yes. As we see Lemons bring the ball up the court. Lemons gets it over to Justice. Lemons pulls up, unable to finish as we see the rebound taken by Larkin and Christian Brothers. They try to get it inside to Hummel, back out to Mays. Mays for three, gets it to go. Great shot there. Mitch Mays from downtown. Young takes a drive to the basket, and he's get called for, he gets called for the travel there. It looks like he was falling down. Just too many dribbles right there, too many dribbles. And I was going to say the same coming down when Christian Brothers had the ball on offense, but they made a great shot there to close out the offense possession. You say too many dribbles. Are you thinking he's just holding the ball for too long? Yes, most definitely. Um, you got a lot of great players around you. So you want to, what you want to do is continue to feed everybody. And you know if you continue to feed these people, they're going to play great ball. They've been doing it all night. Just continue to put your faith in your teammates. 
We see some more ball movement by Christian Brothers and tight defense from Valdosta State once again as Justice tries to go in. A little bit of a mismatch there on number 14, Tyler Estep. Estep is 6'5", and Justice was only about 6'2". Yeah, it's okay, though. Doesn't matter about the height, of course. It matters about the heart. Lemons up top as we see Coach Helfer get a play call in there. The Blazers are trying to get number five, Jeremiah Hill, started. He's having a little bit of a tough time as we see the shot clock go down. Bo Justice from deep knocks it down again. Bo Justice is hot, man. This Can I say that man is feeling it? Hey, this is another type of hot. Now I've covered a lot of these games, and boy, he's hot tonight. He took that one from basically the logo on the court. He didn't care because he knew it was going in. Great steal there by Josh Lemons. Bad pass. Back out to Justice from downtown. Can't get it to go. I think if he had made that one, the complex would have started rocking. Would have erupted. Don't worry. It's coming, though. Don't worry. Christian Brothers seems to be a little bit flustered in this situation. They gave up that deep three to Justice. The score is starting to get a little out of hand. This, as we see Larkin get his first points of the game. Your score, Valdosta State 36. Christian Brothers 21. Cross court looking for Justice. Just threw that one away. It seems like he lost the ball there, Will, more than looking for Justice. Um, he was trying to do a little nice little dribble move at the top, double move to get his defender off. He did a great job by doing that, but his defender at the end of the play got the back of the ball, and that's why you saw the ball fly there across, across the court. Having so much fun, we see that the, the time is slowly ticking down in this first half. What's the biggest thing is we see Justice try to pull up for another three, can't get it to go. Ball's out of bounds. Christian Brothers. Now, for both squads, what's the biggest thing is this, as this half starts to close down? Well, for one, they have to finish strong for Valdosta State. You're up. Don't even give them a chance to get up to a 10-point deficit. You have to not stop them from getting into the hole and making big threes. And that's a great job by rebounding there by Sadiq Muhammad. As we see a quick foul by number 44, Charlie Oswald. That'll send Muhammad to the line. Sadiq Muhammad, bit of it, bit of a rough go for free throws on the year as he knocks that one down. But coming into the game, he was 67% from the line. Not normally what you want to see, and not really the norm for this Valdosta State team that averages uh, close to 75% from the line. And that's really good, and that's because Mike Hilfer actually has sessions where they sit down. Well, not sit down. They literally go around this court and shoot free throws for about, say, 10 minutes. And that's really good. As we see that practice pay off as Muhammad makes both. With 45 seconds left, Christian Brothers looking to get just a little bit of momentum, maybe hang it, heading into the half as we see the ball slapped away by Simon, corralled by Christian Brothers. Offensive foul, Valdosta State basketball. Yeah, and that was a close one there. I, I really don't see where he got that call from, but, hey, I know the Blazers will take it. But he was trying to face him up and look to get a great shot right there. But it seems like Valdosta State will probably have the last shot. Well, well, most likely, more than likely have the last shot. The shot clock is anything but, like, three seconds apart here, three to four seconds. As they hold, we see Lemons up top. Coach Helfer gets some calls in, trying to set up one final play here in this first half. Lemons finally takes the drive, which we see Justice back up top. Justice driving to the basket, kick, bad pass to Muhammad, able to corral it. Shot, shot clock violation for Valdosta State. And with three seconds left, it'll be Christian Brother ball. Great defense there by the Christian Brothers to, to hold out tight before the half. Now we're going to see if they can make a miracle shot right here. They inbound it. Larkin all the way down the court. Gets it to mm. fall. That'll count. That will count. He got that off right before the shot clock expired. And that'll send us to half. Your score, Valdosta State 38, 
Christian Brothers 23. We'll be right back here on VSU TV. Here, we are a community of 11,000 individual stories. A place where all doors are open. Your home away from home. Where you will make lifelong connections. And you will never feel invisible. Here, you will write it. Research it. Sing it. Broadcast it. Share it. Serve it. Teach it. Nurture and own it. VSU. Over 100 majors, championship athletics, and just far enough away from home. Find out what VSU can do for you. And welcome back to the complex here at VSU. Again, I'm Will DiLorenzo alongside my co-host Kawan Cook as we get you set for second half action between the Valdosta State Blazers and the Christian Brothers Bucks. Uh, yeah, and the Blazers got off to a hot start. As you can see here, Marquis Simeon's getting a shot down low, and then Bo Justice hitting a shot up top. And another great take down low by Marquis, uh, by, I'm sorry. Marquis Simeon's. Marquis Simeon's. Actually, it was Sadiq Muhammad on that, on that take. Well, it was definitely a great first half for about Austin State. They came out firing on all cylinders, number one, and... Uh, most prevalent being Bo Justice. Yeah, Bo Justice leads both teams with 18 points. And he's shooting 62% from behind the three-point arc. I'm pretty sure Mike Helfer is going to find a way to get him going some more. But the thing is, Jeremiah Hill has been playing the usual. So I won't be shocked if he explodes this half. Now, uh, we talked a little bit about Valdosta State. On the other side, Christian Brothers, not a whole lot went right for them. They, uh, they were a little rough. They were a little rough there to start out the game. But... Uh, as we got towards the end, they started to figure a few things out, make some shots. What's the biggest key for them in the second half? Well, right now, Mitch Mays leads the team right now in points. So I'm pretty sure they're going to keep trying to find a way to get him involved. And I, that's really the only thing I think I can see so far. It, the game has been, they have struggled a lot. So that's well, for the best they can get. Well, we're ready for an exciting second half. Let's see if the Blazers can continue this vaunted attack and see if Christian Brothers may be able to answer a little bit. Yep. Uh -oh. Here we go. <laughs> As Christian Brothers get set for the opening throw in. We'll see what their offensive attack looks like and maybe some halftime adjustments. Yeah, number 22, Mitch Mays inbound the ball right there. 44, Oswald as he tries to get it underneath to number 34, that's Tyler, or excuse me, Alex Trentman. Great defense right there by the Blazers to start off the half. As we see number three, Lemons bring the ball up the floor for the Blazers. He's kind of taking over the point guard role here today with the struggles of Jeremiah Hill. Back inside, that's number 24, Simon, excuse me, Simon, for Valdosta State, able to get the first points of the second half on the board. Yeah, great take there. I like how he adjusted the ball in the air to make the shot. Mitch Mays. Gets the first points for Christian Brothers as both teams kind of swap baskets there. And there go Mitch Mays getting another basket. That's nine points on the night right now. And you talked about a little bit when we were coming in how important it is to get Mays kind of going. Seems like they've started to do that early here in the second half. Yeah, he is long. So to me, you just get his long frame down low and it should work out great. As we see, he'll pull up, knock down the three for his first points of the game. Uh, Jeremiah Hill. Great shot by Jeremiah. And I told you, he was going to find his way to get going. The team leader, he's a senior. Trust me, he's going to find a way. And how dangerous will Valdosta State's offense be if both him and Bo Justice start clicking in the oh second my. half? Oh, my. It's actually scary, to be honest. I, I wouldn't want to be on the court with them if they're both going at the same time. Larkin's struggles continue as he's unable to knock that one down, but gets it back with that, too. Great shot there. Way to create space. Simon brings it up the floor to Hill, over to Justice, underneath to Mohammed. Mohammed drives, can't get it to fall, rebound, out of bounds. Christian Brother ball. Yeah, it was a great ball movement, though. Jeremiah Hill seems like he got a problem with that, 
with that call right there. But just seemed like they couldn't slow down there for Valdosta State. So we see Larkin bring the ball up the floor. Oswald back to Larkin, up top to Trentman. Trentman underneath to Oswald. Looks like they try to get a little roll there as we see Larkin drive, can't finish. Rebound Valdosta State, Simon back to Justice. Justice up to Hill. Fakes the shot, goes up. Floater can't get it to go. Rebound Valdosta State, that's Simon. Simon tries to go inside to Lemon. Lemon goes up, knocked away by Trentman. Christian Brothers ball, looks like they'll slow it down a little bit. Yeah, and I'm, I'm starting to see, I think Christian Brothers are going with the idea of maybe just a half court offense, because it's a better shot of playing against this Valdosta offense, who's who's trying to find a way to actually be more fast paced, but they're, I want to call Mike Hill for a balanced offense the way he uses it, but hey, they move. Larkin from deep, unable to finish as we see Lemons bring it up. It looks like they're going a little bit quicker. Lemons tries to look inside back out to Hill. Hill looking for some space to maybe do something. Gets it underneath to Simon. Simon across the court, bad pass. Intended for Bo Justice. It's tipped out of bounds by Oswald Voss to state ball. Yeah, I saw that, the wide open man. So it was actually a, a great decision, but actually should have been a, a bit quicker due to the fact that he threw it so late, he should have threw it back to the man who passed it to him. Valdosta State brings in the inbound with 6.51. Your score, Valdosta State 43, Christian Brothers 27. As we see Hill try to go with the crossover behind his back. Bad pass saved off the top, off the top of the bar there. <laughs> and that was, that was almost an incredible save yeah, by Mitch Mays. And almost wor way worse than a save, almost a point seemed like. As you see VSU get it in to Lemons. He goes up hard and he's fouled, but count it. <laughs> Great take there by Lemons. And that'll send Lemons to the line for his first free throw attempts of the game. And Lemons is shooting about 81% for the season, which is pretty good, and that's where Mike Helfer wants his guard set. Lemons can't get that one to fall. Coach Helfer does not look very happy with that. Oswald's got it up at the top of the key. He's looking to try to get the ball maybe inside. Gets it instead out to Mays. Mays back to Oswald as he's got a little bit of room to drive. Picks up his ball back to Larkin. Excuse me, Larkin drives. Gets that one to fall. That gets Christian Brothers to 29. Pass inside to Simon, trying to make some space. And big physical Justin Simon underneath. Gets some more points for the Blazers. And that was a way to push the ball. Like I said, that fast-paced offense, hey, it's hurting the Christian Brothers, and they got to find a way to stop it. As Larkin gets it outside. Number 14, Estep can't get it to fall. Bo Justice. Justice gets it out to Lemons. Inside to Simon. Simon going big, and he's blocked by Estep. Yeah, Estep is running fast down court. The give is to Larkin. Off the front of the rim, too short. Rebound Valdosta State. Back to Bo Justice as he looks like he's going quick, trying to find some room. Sadiq Mohammed, great transitional offense for Valdosta State. Yeah, and great job by Bo Justice to make an amazing pass right there. The lead is 20 for VSU with 15.09 left in the second half as they get it underneath to Garb. Garb able to get it to fall. BSU looks like they're slowing it down just a little bit. As Simon looks to set up a play. And of course, Will, this is the half that last time that these two met up, the half that VSU just fell flat on their face. So I'm pretty sure Mike Hilfer doesn't want to see that tonight. Mm. Jeremiah Hill, visibly frustrated, unable to make that shot. He has to calm down, really. He has to kind of stop depending on that three shot now. It's too many attempts. Try to take it to the hole and get what you can get. 
while we have some time, VSU TV is proud to present Saturday Fright Special every Saturday at 9 p.m. and midnight. Join host Scarewolf as he leads you through classic monster movies and some classic duds as well. Get your friends together and grab some popcorn before the popcorn grabs you. Saturday Fright Special only on VSU TV. Now, with 14.39 left in the game, about Austin State has a lead that's just under 20. What's the biggest thing for Christian Brothers to try to get back in this game? Well, first, I got to show see these replays. Josh Lemons right there with a great take to get to the hole. And then another great take there by number 24, Samuels. And then a great, amazing shot to get himself going by Jeremiah Hill there. And we can't forget about the amazing fast break take by Sadiq Muhammad. Transitional offense has been a very big key for Valdosta State. As we were trying to get right before the replay, how do you think Christian Brothers slows it down? Hey, the reason that crowd just erupted like that is because I think that's Mike Helfer's son there that just, that just took it down the court and made a great shot. I think that's the loudest I've heard the complex all day. And it's for the little guy. Young Mike Helfer's son. That is, that is wild. <laughs> Everybody's hot tonight, even the little kids. <laughs> <laughs> Basketball runs in his blood. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that, but we had a ref come by and say that was the best shot of the day. As we see Larkin bring it up the floor. Great defense right here by the Blazers so far. Pressure really seems to be in the face of these Christian Brothers players. You see out to Trentman, able to knock down that three. The big man with the nice three, I love it, I love it. You don't see that often, but when they make them, I know they feel great inside, because hey, they used to being in the paint. As Christian Brothers ever so slowly starts to work their way back into this game as we see Young go up with that bad wrist. And once again, tries to kick back out. Young for three, can't get it to go. And those are normally shots that we see Damian Young knock down. Got to wonder how much that wrist is bothering him. Uh, I think it's actually playing a factor because on Thursday night before the wrist injury, those shots were made. And you can see after the wrist injury what type of difference is it making this is making a pretty big difference not his usual shot as we see a foul on that play it'll be inbound ball to christian brothers they get it up top as we see a another foul away from the ball that was on number one marquis simuels this blazers defense needs to continue to play tough like they're playing right now Number five, Larkin has the ball once again, trying to find some space for himself. Look to draw that foul, can't get it to fall, and Kodet able to, unable to grab that rebound, and he's visibly frustrated with himself. He got to hold on to that. I can see him try to put the second hand on it, and when he did that, the ball just slipped out. I don't know if that was sweat or whether that's just slippery hand, but he got to hold on to that one. Give his inside, and a hard foul on number 31, T.J. Moody. That'll send Moody to the line for a chance at a three-point play. Yeah, there you guys see Jimmy Cody has to find a way to put his hands up and relax. I mean, he's, it seems like he's complaining about the way he faced out with the elbow that time. But, hey, you can't. If it, they don't call it, don't worry about it. Find a way just to stop him, prevent him from making a shot like he just did. And now he's going to the line because you didn't keep your hands up. Trying to make this game a little bit closer is TJ Moody, or excuse me, JT Moody. Moody unable to get that rebound. About Austin State ball as they go quickly in transition. Bo Justice for three. Unable to get it to fall. Rebound Lemons back up. Points for about Austin State. Great take there by Josh Lemons. I think that's something that the Blazers needed. Stop this mini run by Christian Brothers. Yeah, kind of almost a dagger in the heart, but then you get a take Larkin. like that from Larkin. Just beautiful. As they get it inside the Lemons, back to Justice. Justice trying to look for his first points of the second half. 
Can't get it to fall. Rebound, Beverly. Foul on Valdosta State. That means it's Christian Brothers ball, no basket. Yeah, I'm mean, not sure about that call there, but hey, you got to. Oh, spoked away by Justice. They were running out of running out of clock there. Almost a five second violation. Give in quickly to Larkin as he's trying to bring it up the floor, trying to close this gap. Yeah, the Blazers have done a great job today by keeping their hands moving on defense, and that's the reason these turnovers are happening so often for the Christian brothers. Estep had a little trouble corralling that. Moody back up top over to Mays, inside to Larkin, and the foul. But also State has to be careful. They keep racking up these fouls. Christian Brothers will be in the bonus before they know it. And that's something you don't want right now because that's an easy way to put a team back into the game, going to the free throw line and finding your shot. Christian Brothers, not that great from, from the line. 66%, but big points there for number 34, Trentman. And it'll send him to the line one more time. Yeah, way to finish there by Trentman. I think he's trying to get his team started and going right now. And this, this could be the start if he makes this free throw, with knocking it down to a 10-point deficit. Trentman goes to the line, knocks it down, and a, and a lead that was once 20 is now down to 10. Some odd parallels to the game back in early December for Valdosta State and Christian Brothers. As we got a foul on the floor on number 34. And that was a great call by the ref as I saw a hand from one of the Christian Brothers players swing at the young man as he was driving to the hole. So we see some substitutions for Christian Brothers. Uh, on this inbound play, what are you looking for out of Coach Helfer? Well, I'm looking for what I exactly just saw, just get the ball in safely. And that was a great take there by Josh Lemons, oh my. Josh Lemon's able to finish, lead back up to 12 for Valdosta State. Moody at the top of the key. Handoff to Larkin. Bo Justice falls down. Larkin able to knock it down and just a bit of a bit of mess up there by uh, Bo Justice as we see a timeout. Yeah, and the reason Bo Justice was on the ground because that was a great pick set up at the top right there. And this has been an interesting game. Do you have an interest for the paranormal? Want to show that it's offbeat and not stuffy? Then the VSU TV has the program for you. 30 odd minutes, airing Saturday nights at 11 p.m. Following Saturday Fright Special, if the truth is out there, 30 odd minutes will find it, but only by sheer accident. It's no accident that Christian Brothers is back in this game. They've been playing exceptionally well coming out in this second half. And it's starting to, to show this is exactly what happened last time. But another stat line that was crazy that last time, that bench put up 40 points. And Valdosta State bench only put up 13 points. And now you're seeing that bench on the court right now. They're playing a lot more due to some key missing players. And they're starting to step up. They didn't have relaxed, and all it took with them for, was to relax. And when they relax, you see it's a 10-point deficit now. You know, you and I were harping on it early about uh, missing, missing these key players uh, for Christian Brothers. But this is still a team that was that was 17 and six coming in fourth in the Gulf South Conference, and that shows the great coaching job by Coach Niaber. Amazing coaching. He knows how to transition, but. That, that's what you have to do. That's what you have to do as a coach. You have to find a way to, not transition, but find a way to make adjustments when the game is mattering and when the game is on the line. Because as you saw at the beginning of the game, they struggled. So he went into the locker room and saw a way for his team to dominate. And he made sure to let his team know about it. And poor ball handle there by Bo Justice as Essip goes to the floor. Defensive foul. Yeah, and Bo just has tried to set up there for a charge, but didn't get his feet set quick enough. So it would be a blocking foul. Actually, he's going to the line. Essip's getting up. He's looking a little rough. A little rough. Maybe got the the wind knocked out of him there. Or it seems like his elbow hit the court a little bit. 
We, it's hard to tell from this angle. Uh, looks like we'll have our another stoppage in play here. Timeout on the board, timeout media. That's a full timeout. Are you undecided about your major or thinking about adding a minor? If so, you should attend the undergraduate major and minors fair Thursday, February 16th in the Student Union. Students will have a chance to explore over 30 majors and minors and speak to representatives from various departments. To help with your decision, food and drinks will be provided. I'm kind of hungry now, so it wouldn't be bad to have those food and drinks right here in front of me. <laughs> definitely, definitely be a, a fun thing to have. Getting back into the game, Valdosta State. You come out, you get your lead up to 20. It's got cut back down to 10. This is the same team that you blew a lead against early in the season. What do you think Coach Helfer tells his team? To relax. That's all it is, relaxing and continue to play at the high level you've been playing at all night. Uh, can't, you really can't just stop moving on offense. They have a problem with that, a lot of stagnant. And they have to find a way to keep it, keep it moving. And what we've seen in this, uh, in Christian Brothers being able to close it down is uh, Bo Justice kind of went cold. Yeah, he, he went. Well, I don't think it's more than cold. I think it's he's not getting the ball as much. And he's kicking it a little bit more than usual because they're, they're playing a little tighter on him and making him make a tough shot, which is good by Bo Justice because he's not taking a dumb shot. You see what I'm saying? So him... It being cold is not bad because eventually, as this game gets going in a couple of seconds, I'm pretty sure we're going to see him heat up with these off-ball screen, off screens. As you see Christian Brothers able to get a quick basket. Lemons back up top over to Simon. Simon over to Marquis Samuels. Back up to the top to Lemons as they look to set up a play. The give is to Justice. Justice goes down low to Muhammad. Muhammad burying people over. Defensive foul on Christian Brothers. That'll give Valdos to stay the ball at the bottom of the key. Yep. Excuse me, free throws. It was in the act of shooting. Free throws for Sadiq Muhammad. And I uh, heard Mike Hilfer speaking on it earlier in, uh, before the game started about how the Christian Brothers players are looking to draw fouls, and you just saw right there he tried to take a charge, but it didn't come through, and it was called a blocking foul. Sadiq Muhammad knocks down the first. That makes him four, four for four on the night right now. And for a guy that's not normally too good with free throws, how, uh, how important is that? That's very important. That's what you need. That's actually your spark. And now he's five for five. So that lets you know he's locked in. That's going to help other players start to lock in as well. See, Jeremiah Hill check back in for the Blazers. We haven't called his name a lot tonight. He's, he's hasn't been in with much of the scoring. As we see Garb take it to the basket, can't get it to fall. Rebound Hill. That was a great rebound by Jeremiah Hill there. Where to go up strong and come down with it. Now I think this is starting to happen because they're starting to double him as he goes to the lane. It's because they, they don't trust his jump shot at all. So you see Hill try to get it underneath Muhammad. Muhammad goes up hard. He gets it to go. That's a great take there by Sadiq Muhammad. The lead back up to 12 for Valdosta State. Christian Brothers was able to close it into eight and quickly was back up to 12. Back down to 10. With 10 minutes left, your score of Valdosta State 57, Christian Brothers 47, as we see a crossover, a nasty move. And I tell you what, put some pins in that man because he just got put on a poster. Oh my, he's eating, he's eating. He's very hungry out there. You could tell because that crossover. Ball up top to Christian Brothers. Larkin looked like he wanted to shoot that one, decided to pull it down. Garb inside to Moody, back outside to Larkin, back inside to Moody. Moody trying to back downhill. He's got a little bit of a mismatch. He goes up and it's blocked hard by number three, Josh Lemons. That's a great job there by him with the help defense by Josh Lemons. 
As we see a quick foul on number five against number five, Hill. That'll be Valdosta State ball on the baseline. And the Blazers started off hot from behind the three-point arc. Well, we want to say Bo Justice, but he's been quiet as of lately, and, and the team's percentages have slipped. They're only shooting 18.2% from behind the arc right now, and Christian Brothers is shooting 36%. The three ball changes games very quickly, and bad pass inside as we see Moody able to fight past Muhammad to and, get that steal. And it seemed like a foul there. He swung at him, but no call. Steal by Lemons. He goes up, slams it home. Showtime Lemons. Are you ready for the show? Because he's ready. Uh, looks like he just made some lemonade. <laughs> what is that? You give him lemons? He's going to make lemonade because that's his name. <laughs> lemons. Larkin back up top as the complex crazies are starting to get into it. Larkin to the line and a great answer. Great answer there by Christian Brothers. These guys just won't go away. That pass has been working all night. That pick and pop. Uh, actually, a pick and roll coming off of it. They have to find a way to, to stop that. Maybe move a little faster or, or talk, communicate so the rotation is quicker. As we see Lemons with the nice move, turnaround jumper. Gets it to fall. Josh Lemons. Josh Lemons, there you go again. Showtime Lemons coming in action. When life gives you Josh Lemons, you let him play. Yes, you do. Back outside to Garbage. Christian Brothers trying to get it up top. Mays drives. Pass poked away by Lemons. It'll be Christian Brother ball. Way to keep his hands moving right there. Disrupt that pass. Timeout by Valdosta State. Maybe want to regroup a little bit. And the Blazers have been hot. And as you can see here, Sadiq Muhammad with a great take down low, which was a great take and also a great rebound and take by Josh Lemons, the, the movie star right here. And another take by Showtime Lemons. Hey, it's his show right now. He's showing out. We said someone had to come to play. And guess what? Mr. Lemons is doing it. And then Jeremiah Hill right there with the, the amazing crossover and jump shot right there. It was it's quite the nasty cross over there. But as we see a nice little contest going on down here, what are some of your big keys? Christian Brothers very much not out of this game. Well, I have to say, continue to try to be a stingy defense. You can, t you can tell that coach has said something to them, letting them know, hey, move your hands around, talk a little bit more, make this game a little easier for our team and on defense. And I, it's showing in the second half. They're locking down. That's, that's a great job by them coming into the second half doing their thing. On the flip side, you go to Valdosta State. Do you think Coach Helfer's just telling his guys, we got this, we, we got this one in hand, just don't, just don't lose it? Far from that. He's probably telling them, don't lose it, but we don't have it in our hands. We need you to play better and smarter basketball right now. And that's probably what he told his players. Right now is the moment. You got to think now, not later. Play smart basketball. The Blazers now have three players in double digits, and that's Sadiq Muhammad, Josh Lemons, and Bo Justice. On the other side, Jeff Larkin really getting into the mix after a slow start. He's got 14 for Christian Brothers. As we see another, another foul. Coach Helfer was not too pleased about that. Not at all, and you can hear him yelling, telling Justin to to stay inside. Larkin for three. He's off again today. He's 0 for 7 from beyond the arc. Almost a great steal there by Josh Lemons. Nice hustle play, almost thrown away by JT Moody. They got a little bit of sweat on the floor, so they're going to take care of that. With 7.32, again, your score is Valdosta State 63, Christian Brothers 49. The lead is 14, but it, it doesn't seem that big. Not at all. Not with this defense playing tight like they're playing. Inside, and it's blocked 
by Hill. A nice play there by Jeremiah Hill. As he has the ball in his hands one more time, goes to the basket. Can't get it to fall. Sadiq Muhammad rebound. That lost the state in points. Oh, Jeremiah's heel is down. Hope he's okay. Holding his face. It looks like he may have just went down a little hard. Or maybe been hit in the face as he was going to score there. As the trainers attend to him, he gets up pretty quick with a little help from Mike Elfer. As we see a quick sub in, it's number one, Marquis Simuels. Checking in. It seemed like under his breath right there, he said, why am I not getting a foul? Uh, call there, Jeremiah Hill said. They give it to Alex Trentman. Trentman bringing it up the floor. Tries to go inside to Moody. Moody's got Sadiq Muhammad all over him. Back out to Larkin, Garb, up top to Mays. Moody looking for something that something to do. Mays, Larkin, 4-3, knocks it down. Yep. That's his first three of the game. Big shot there by Larkin to keep his team close, knocking it back down to a 13-point lead. 13-point lead for Valdosta State, as you said, as Lemons has it at the top of the key. Goes inside to Simuels. Simuels gets it to fall. Marquis Simuels. I'm starting to think that Coach Mike Helfer's offensive uh, mindset here is telling his team to take it to the hole. I think with with die ball out, it's, it's the perfect time and the perfect game to just take it to the hole and get what you can get. And you can see that they tried to take a charge, but it didn't work. Defensive foul that will send Marquise Simuels to the bottom of the free throw. Excuse me, to the bottom of the key. And Jeremiah Hills appears to be okay. He's back on the court. Checks back in for Valdosta State as they get it in. And a bad inbound pass. Almost corralled. It looks like last touch by Larkin. And that was a great hustle play by Josh Lemons, able to get to that ball before Larkin was able to get some fast, fast break points. Yeah, and I think the whole offense just went like a daisy right there and just Forgot the ball was even in play. Lemons up top to give his to Justice. Justice trying to work around a pick. Pulls up for his first three of the second half. Just short. Simon unable to corral it. Christian Brother ball. Yes, it is. And this is a this will be a big possession for the Buccaneers. They have to find a way to get a basket. They get one. This could get the team going. Larkin brings up the court. Over two. Back to him. Inside to Essip. Essip finishes 67-54. As we see, Valdosta State still able to hold on to that after a sloppy inbound there. Yeah, Tyler Essip is flying around the court right now. As we see some full court pressure from Christian Brothers, do you think we'll see this for the rest of the game, Kwan? Uh, probably so with the lead being where it's at. But then again, you don't know if you want to continue to do that knowing how the Valdosta State offense runs around. Jeremiah Hill from downtown. Beautiful shot by Jeremiah Hill. That was an amazing step back. It looked like he was playing a video game. Just grabbed the controller and the joystick and stepped back with a great shot. Now, as we see the, the the waiting minutes of this game, as we see Larkin hit, <laughs> knock down an incredible shot. Oh my gosh! These boys are playing lights out right now. But how much how much does fatigue start to be a factor for guys like Larkin and Essip? A big factor, and that's why I feel like their shots aren't falling as much because they are missing the key players and players who would help them with minutes and help them with breathers. So now they have to play a little longer than usual. And that's making them miss shots. Looks like Jeremiah Hill gave a little smile to Essip on that one, said you got away, with, got away with one there. As we see Oswald able to knock it down. That brings us with in 12 with four minutes and 10 seconds left to play in this game. So now the Blazers offense looks to try to find a way to get it going with this type of ball movement, setting great picks on ball and off ball. 
Lemons trying to get to the basket, kick back out to Justice. Able to dribble away, get some space, knocks down another three. And Bo Justice has woken up. That's his first shot, first three-pointer of the half. That gets him up to 21 points on the game as we see a three answered quickly by Oswald. Yo, Oswald says, anything you can do, I can do better. The big man knocking down a three, a big time three for Christian Brothers. Yeah, and the Buccaneers needed that to stay within a 12 point deficit. Within 12, Jeremiah Hill from beyond the arc. Just short, rebound Valdosta State, Sadiq Muhammad up to Bo Justice. The handoff to Lemons. Lemons slowing down just a little bit with just over 15 seconds left on the shot clock. He's able, to, gonna try to set up something. And I think the Blazer offense is gonna try now to milk this shot clock and also the game clock. Inside to Muhammad. Muhammad with a nice finish for Valdosta State. There's gotta be a sense of urgency on the Christian Brothers side yeah, from they, here on out. They gotta play a little faster. Gotta maybe go into a little of a faster offense, because this half-court offense is not going to cut it. As we see Garb, just short from downtown, rebound Jeremiah Hill as we see two Christian Brothers players fall down. The give is to Justice from beyond the arc. Can't get it to fall. Rebound back out, Justice for three. Oh, in and out twice there for Bo Justice. And both good shots there by Bo Justice. Way to run by the whole V-State team there. Larkin from deep, can't get it to fall. Rebound Garb. Puts it in. With 2.02 left, your score is Valdosta State 75, Christian Brothers 63. Get a quick shot here on the replay. And you can see there, uh, Jeremiah Hill had got hit, but that was a great take and finish there by Sadiq Muhammad. And then another great take by, by Marquise Samuels. And then both Justice with the ball fake to get the man in the air. And then the corner three. And also another take here by Sadiq Muhammad down low with, this, with these great post moves. And an amazing cross and step back there by Jeremiah Hill for the three. Tell you what. Whoever's been playing against Jeremiah Hill today has been on skates. On skates. This young man has got it all in his package. It's almost like he just drew it up overnight. But if you really think about it, all season he's been doing this, so it's not an overnight thing. He's not, it's nothing what to say, it's nothing fake to him. This is all real. And it's got to be a testament to uh, Christian Brothers because that also to say here in this second half, granted, Bo Justice was a little has been a little up and down and so has Jeremiah Hill, but for the most part they've been on in this game and Christian Brothers have, have has been able to keep it pretty low scoring and they're within 12 with two minutes and anything can happen. Yes, it can, but uh, I think the Blazers are doing a great job with their forwards and the down low. They're getting great big time rebounds and they continue to out rebound the, the Buccaneers and that's why, that is really the reason why they're up by, by 12 points right now. You gotta think with die ball being out, I, that takes away a lot of your offensive and defensive rebounds of the guy that's 6'9". And that's true. I feel like he got key rebounds when the other players weren't paying attention. Oh yeah, that's definitely a foul there. Over the back, on top of Josh Lemon's back there. Uh, ball will be on the floor. It looks like they'll inbound it just from, just from around the bench, I think. With 151 left, your score is Valdosta State 75. Christian Brothers 63. As we see Josh Lemons at the top, just trying to dribble out a little bit more time on the clock. And the Blazers now have four people in double digits. With Sadiq Muhammad with 17 points, Josh Lemon with 10, Jeremiah Hill with 10, and Bo Justice with 21 points tonight. And great execution there by Valdosta State. Lemons doesn't finish, but 
Then Simon's right behind him to get his rebound and finish for them. Great job there by Justin Simon down low. Valdosta State really turning up the pressure here with people all over the faces and another huge shot by Oswald. Oswald, you can tell he wants this game. He's going to find a way for his team, even though it may be just a little too late today. Just a bit. Looks like the game's just going to slip out of the reach of Christian Brothers. And come on, what can you say about this Valdosta State team? Well, of course, this, this is a high-powered offense. So, hey, they're, they're going to continue to do what they do. And I think it's because how Mike Helford has practiced them throughout the offseason and during the season to let these kids know that you can be great. It's just you have to play at this level every night, and they've done that. Now, as we see the, the winning seconds of this game, we, we saw a great performance here by Christian Brothers even down uh, a few players um, against the Valdosta State team that number one in the Gulf South Conference, and it's probably going to have a huge playoff run. Yes, it is, and I think they're ready for these playoffs right now, to be honest. I think they can go in right now and, and be ready to take it over. But we shall see. And that'll just about do it for us here at VSU TV, your final. Blazers 79, Bucks 65. I'm Will DiLorenzo for Kawan Cook and everyone here at VSU TV. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time here at the Complex.